my radon continuously monitoring system consists uh, of radar radon detector there are two types available from for example amazon i've been using this for about uh, 15 years um, this uh, i did observe few things that in winter when the snow melts the radon, radon level increases above the uh, 4.1 allowed in the US. Uh, I've been running it for um, about four days and stopped it about two days ago. Uh, the background outside and inside when the system runs is 1.8, uh, 1.1 uh, pico curie per liter. Uh, so this has been stopped about two days ago, so it's bouncing back from that um, big background level of 1.1. Uh, as you know, radon is the very heavy gas. It's uh, almost 10 times heavier than air. So it settles at the bottom of, the, of your structure. So typically um, basements, crawl space. And it's really important that you understand that it's very heavy gas. It settles at the bottom in your basement. That's why you need it in a basement. The actual radon system, mitigation system that I've built um, <clears throat> consists of a um, <clears throat> Fantec pump, um, model 2190, and this is pumping the air from the um, well that was initially there, that's the corner near the window. The well actually connects um, through piping under the concrete of the basement. There's about a meter of grade, a, grade eight um, uh, stones, about inch size stones, like in every kind of a house built about 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Um, and then it just goes outside at the ground level. It doesn't go through the roof. It doesn't have to. Um, what I did, uh, I, I do not believe that's necessary to go. And all these people claiming that it has to go above the roof just simply don't understand the physics of it. That's my opinion. It worked for me. Believe it what you want. If you want, read the Wikipedia and that's where you find that radon is 10 times heavier. You just have to push it outside. And you need a high-speed pump um, because it's diluted. The one uh, thing that is worth noticing that is that inside of the well, actually, when they constructed the house, they punctured the bottom of this plastic uh, well, so the water actually can come not through the not just through the pipes that are on the side, um, but also through the bottom. I put a mesh to prevent the small gravel uh, coming into the um, sump pump. Um, but basically, that's another place where the radon can be um, effectively removed. Also, the windows, um, these windows have these drainage. These actually, this drainage is actually connected to this, um, to this well through this piping uh, that goes underneath, uh, under the concrete. So this is very efficient way of removing radon just from underneath the concrete in a basement. So again, um, this is a very simple uh, pump. It was about less than $150, uh, two being, I actually had to hire uh, my reliable professional um, guy that actually is very good with piping. I, I didn't do everything myself here. So, um, but the concept is, is, uh, is mine in the sense of basically goes going as as simple as shortest uh, path to the outside not to the roof not necessary the computer re reports basically the same background i've been monitoring it for 15 years um and i did as i said um two facts radon is almost 10 times heavier than air you have to remove it from the low low part of the basement um in my case, from underneath the concrete slab, uh, using effective, um, uh, you know, tubing that exists there, and then the other thing is short path 
to the outside and it's just above the ground, about a foot off the ground. I'll show you that location. Now electrical wiring, actually uh, there is a wiring that actually connects to the wall switch. This is a wall switch that actually turns on um, uh, the my radon system. And if the kids are in a basement, I, I turn it on. Otherwise, why why have it running all the time? And this is where radon is being pumped out from the basement. And that system works. Um, when it's running for about a week, it's at the background level outside, measured with this computer over a week. Um, and it's compatible to the outside as well as the upstairs bedrooms. So, radon is very dangerous because of the fact that you're breathing radioactive gas into your lungs. And that's how it causes uh, lung cancer, similar to smoking. So there's some damage caused by the decay um, of the radon. It just blows, blows through this. So just to recap, radon is dangerous because it, uh, we're breathing it into the lungs and through radioactive decay, it causes lung cancer. Radon is about 10 times heavier than air, so it settles at the low point of the house. From what I've observed over 10, 15 years, using continuously monitoring, using the computer that monitors, measures the radon levels in the, on the outside and upstairs and in a basement. Um, typically, um, the level was below the danger of four picocuri per liter. Uh, but when the snow melts and possibly after big rains, several days after that, it reports, the computer reports, increase and um, potentially uh, high, higher level of radon. Um, this system that I've built um, with the tubing and the Fantec pump, it has to be high-speed pump, um, removes this effectively and the level in the basement is not just below, but it's at the background for the outside. Happy fixing and hope this helped. If you can subscribe, subscribe for the under this channel. I'll be posting all kinds of fixes that I think might uh, that work for me and might for, work for you. Use at your own discretion and your use your judgment. Thank you. Happy fixing.